I think often about my fifth grade year. And the thing that I remember about that fifth grade year the most is the walk home. And the thing that I remember about the walk home is not the donut shop that was at the top of the block, but I remember the fear. I remember the way the fear tasted, the way the fear smelled, the way the fear looked. And I remember the fear because of the bully. I know that the currency of bullying is fear and confusion. That the bully inflicts harm and then tries to tell you they didn't mean to do it. That harm never actually happened. I know that the bully performs a certain type of innocence. That he says he didn't mean to do it, so you should just move on. That this wasn't his intent, as if to suggest that you aren't actually being victimized. Think about that image because as an adult, there are many things that I've learned. I know that there's no winning in silence. That everybody has to fight back in their own way to the bully. That the bully is not necessarily about people, but it's about an ideology of hate and people subscribe to that ideology. And I talk about the bully in that context. There are a lot of people that when you ask them, what does freedom look like? They haven't yet figured that out. If you only think that the win is to get rid of the bully and not to be on the block where you can enjoy it, then you don't know the fight yet. I know that freedom is not only the absence of trauma, but it's the presence of joy and justice.